Hi, this is Elijah Manor, and welcome to Mannerisms. In this video, we'll look at how to configure VS Code to debug React components and just unit tests in a Create React app. So let's get going. Here we have a simple playground app that was previously created with Create React app. I'll type npm start from the terminal to kick off a developer web server, and React Scripts will create a new browser tab to the correct URL and port. However, our web app has a bug. If I click on the React joke, the answer does not display. So, let's go into the source code and see what's wrong. By looking at the code, it may not be obvious what's causing the bug. Wouldn't it be great if we could debug the code right inside Visual Studio Code? Well, you can. First, let's make a breakpoint right where we would like to start investigating on lines 12 and 9. Before we go any further, we need to make sure we have the Chrome debugger extension installed. Once installed and reloaded, then we could proceed. Now, let's switch to the debug panel and configure the launch script for Chrome. If you don't have any existing scripts, you could just select one, like Chrome, for example. It doesn't really matter, as we're going to clear out the contents and replace it anyway. Now, let's go to the official Create React App documentation and grab the launch configuration to debug your web application. Just copy the whole snippet and paste it in your launch.json file. And now you should be ready to debug your web application. Come up to the green arrow and make sure Chrome is selected in the dropdown, and then click the green arrow. This will kick up yet another browser instance, one that is connected to VS Code's debugger. At this point, you'll probably need to refresh your browser to initiate your breakpoint. And sure enough, we have reached our first breakpoint inside of VS Code. From here, you have access to look around at your local variables in the left panel. There are options to add watches, browse the call stack, etc. However, we're going to come down here to interact with the debug console. Here, we'll change the value of is flipped to true to simulate that we actually clicked the joke. Now I'll step over that statement, and then I can hover over the classes variable to inspect its value at this point in time. As before, I could also come down to the debug console to read the value. And now I spot the problem. I'm using the suit CSS naming convention for our CSS class names, and card flip dash flipped should be using double dashes to indicate it's a modifier. Thankfully, that's easy to fix by adding an extra dash. Now I could stop the debugger and retry our web app. And sure enough, it works just fine. Now let's move to debugging unit tests. Here we have some code unit testing the behavior of our card flip React component. However, if we come to the terminal and run our just tests, you'll notice that one of them is failing at the moment. Let's go inside and add a breakpoint to debug our code. Unfortunately, our previous launch script will not help us. But like before, we could go out to the official Create React App docs to find the snippet we need. Here you could copy just the one configuration section and add it to the array that you already have in your launch.json file and save. Now, switch the option in the dropdown to Debug CRA Test and click the green arrow. This will kick off Jest and then VS Code will stop at your breakpoint. Like before, we could look at the Local Variables panel, but we'll come down to the Debug Console and inspect the DOM element's text content property. Ah, Hello has a 1 instead of an L in it. Let's fix that, save, and rerun our test. Yep, that was it. All green. Thanks for watching this second video in the Create React App series. Stay tuned for more videos to come. If you want to be notified about future videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified. In the meantime, feel free to reach out on Twitter at Elijah Manor. Until then, have a blessed day.